In this quick tip, we'll take a look at the Sonox Fraunhofer Pro Codec. This lets you do online, real-time, or offline encodes of your audio through several different kinds of codecs, which stands for coder decoder. Now it's important that you instantiate this last in your plugin chain, as you can see here. In this instance, it's simply a finished stereo mix that I'm going to encode. Right here is where you choose the different codecs you can use, which is up to five at a time. And by clicking here, it opens the code and settings window. Now it automatically defaults to AAC, but you can select any one of these, such as MP3 or the HEAAC, or as we're going to focus on in this video, Apple's iTunes Plus codec. This basically lets you listen to the exact behavior of the iTunes encoding chain, so you can really hear what your music's going to sound like online. In this instance, the mode and quality are preset for you, and you can see in the status window, it will resample the output file automatically. Now by navigating over here to the Export Settings button, we can select where the file will go. I've used the Browse button to select my desktop. We can name the track if we choose, and you can choose to include various information such as the codec, bitrate, mode, etc. You can uncheck it if you don't want it, but I'd like to leave the codec and bitrate in, and that will show up in the file name when I'm done. Up here in the Monitor section, we can toggle between the input and the codec signal. What I have here is a stereo file of a finished mix that will actually be going to iTunes soon, so I'd like to hear what it's going to sound like after it's encoded. The spectral display is showing me the input signal in yellow. By hitting the codec button, we're now listening to the encoded audio. The diff button lets me hear the audio that won't need to be encoded. So let's go back to the input signal and the codec. So this is what my mix would sound like in iTunes. And when this NMR, or noise to mask ratio line, is fully green, even a trained listener wouldn't necessarily hear the difference between input and output. If you do see a little red on this line, there might be a slight difference between input and output. But for now, we're good to go. So let's get this file output. The first thing to do is arm the chosen codec. Again, I only have one listed here, but I could export up to five at a time. What I'm encoding here is simply a stereo mastered mix. It will actually soon be available on iTunes, but I'd like to hear what it sounds like through the iTunes encoder. So after you've armed the channel, you just want to hit the record key and press play. This tells me the duration of the file I'm making. You can see up here the codec is actually encoding. You can even see the ratio it's using. And I'll just let it run just a few more seconds. Your file would of course normally be the entire song, And I'll just stop it here, and the file would then be available on my desktop. Now if I wanted to select a different kind of coded file, I simply navigate down to the codec list and make another selection. For example, if I wanted to send various band members, say an MP3 or an AAC file, I could just select it here, and then do the encode at the same time as I'd be doing the Apple AAC encode. So for this example, let's say I would load a 24-bit lossless HD AAC file and the monitor button will allow me to listen to each different codec in real time. But let's just listen to this. Here's the input, and here's the coded signal. And there it is. It's the Apple iTunes Plus setting in the Sonox Fraunhofer Pro codec. It's a very useful tool to have.